Hi, welcome back. My name is Paul Banyan. I'm one of the sales engineers here at Hard Dollar Corporation. And in today's session, we're going to walk through how you can link particular fields in Hard Dollar to Excel. From time to time, there will be certain calculations that are at a level of complexity or that contain enough variables that there's not really any software out of the box solution that's going to handle it. And therefore, typically you'll use Excel to handle that kind of calculation. And Hard Dollar allows you to link to the results of that calculation so that you can incorporate it into your project. For an example, you can see that I already have uh, an item linked in Hard Dollar. In this case, it's a mining project, and I'm figuring out the advance rate or the productivity in units per day from a calculation that's done in a spreadsheet. So if I click on this link, it will actually launch a workbook that is connected to this project called the mining job. You'll notice that the workbook itself has the same name as the project that I've created in Hard Dollar, and it is stored along with the database file of the job folder. The worksheet itself comes from my own worksheet that I've created. As far as importing this worksheet into Hard Dollar, into this workbook. That is something that we'll cover in another session. You'll notice that when I clicked on that link, it actually took me right to the field in Excel that it's linked to. This field, you'll notice, is the result of a calculation that involves actually more than one tab in the workbook. And if I go into the various tabs in here, you'll notice that I can make changes that would affect the results of that. In this case, making a change in the minutes today field from 600 to 800. As I make that change, we jump back to the advance rate field, and you'll notice that it has changed from 1.7 to 2.27 days. When we jump back to hard dollar itself, to make that change update in the project is simply a matter of coming up to my active workbook and saying update the active job with Excel data. As I do that, notice that it recalculates and updates any of my linked fields in Hard Dollar with the updates that I've made in the Excel workbook. Now that we see how this functions, let's take a look at actually creating a new link. Here we have another small headings item that we also want to connect to that advance rate field. To do so, I simply right-click on the field itself and say, link this field to Excel. When I do that, it launches this link to Excel dialog box, and I can either select the field from a list, or I can say, you know what, I would like to pick it from Excel itself. When I do that, it takes me to the Excel worksheet, and I can select the particular field that I want to connect to. Now, a couple very important things to note. In order for a connection to be made to a field in Excel, the name of that field has to be named, something besides the letter and number that it originally has. In this case, we've actually named this advance rate. And naming it is done in the top left corner of the Excel worksheet. So we see that that's named. We want to connect to that field. Then you'll notice in the bottom left, I have the shortcut buttons that can automatically have it update back into hard dollar. And the first time around it'll give me this bubble help. Um, once I understand that it's just letting me know uh, how this update into hard dollar functions, I can say never offer this help again. We want to update hard dollar from Excel. So we're going to click the button and once again automatically that link has been established and it's been updated into Hard Dollar. Thank you for attending the session. And once again, hopefully this helps you to be able to incorporate calculations, more complex kinds of considerations that need to be done in Excel, and then to be able to incorporate them right into your estimate. And we'll see you next time.